Hey everybody, it's Javier, your home buying coach. One of the things that realtors and lenders are saying right now that's like a hot button is the low inventory happening right now nationwide. Somebody who's really running with this is all the housing market chicken littles out there. What is, what's a housing market chicken little? You know who I'm talking about. If they put, if there's fire and housing market crash in the title and thumbnail, they are a housing market chicken little. <laughs> One of the things that they're really running with nowadays is the inventory being low and how that's going to completely wreck things. Uh, as you remember, you know, the forbearance was going to wreck things and all kinds of things. We can continue to just wreck things. This poor housing market has just been trashed more than my self-confidence. I, I just can't take it much more. Just like my therapist reminding me for the 7,000th time that everything's okay, I'm here again to tell you, let's just analyze the numbers and let me show you guys some data because as much as everybody's freaking out about the record low inventory guess who's not freaking out just take a wild gander who's still buying houses right now even though freaking inventory is at a record low old school fans might know who i'm talking about if you don't you're just gonna have to watch first and foremost let's share some information shall we Here's a, a MLS, a Phoenix, Arizona. That's right, I only, can, I only have access to the Phoenix, Arizona MLS, but you're free to send this video to a realtor so they can mimic the same search for you. I'm deciding to do this on a Friday where we get a little surge of listings. So right now it is 5,091 listings active right now. And Q, uh, two minute spiel about how inventory is so low and it's record low and it wasn't even this low during the pandemic. Go call a local realtor, they'll give you the same spiel. I don't wanna give it to you here. Yes, inventory is low. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, if we focus specifically on, let's focus on sold closings over the last 30 days. It is currently February uh, 4th. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start 01, 01, 2022. Okay, over the last 34, 30-ish days, there has been 7,868 sales that have happened. Technically these sales are based off the sales or the houses that went under contract in uh, December because it takes, houses usually take 30 days to close. So if we focus specifically on what's under contract and pending right now, we're gonna see there is 11,335 houses under contract. These are means that they're gonna be set to close in the next month. So even though our inventory is still at a record low, our under contract and pending number is still remaining about the same amount. So if you have any question about demand going away, okay, I'm just saying that out there. But anyways, let's analyze the numbers that closed in the last 30 days. And we have, we can do this again in the next month. If you guys want me to just leave a comment below. Um, and if I see a lot of people that are interested in this, I can do like a monthly check-in. Um, but here's the thing that I want you guys to really focus on right now. If we focus on these 30 days of closings, let's figure out who's really buying these properties. Out of the 7,867, let's focus only on single family properties because I only really focus on that. That's what most people that I help do that. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? So there's a six, total of 6,222. So, Let's go and break down how many of these are cash, conventional, FHA, and all that good stuff. So there was a total of 1,476 cash sales, 3,456 conventional, 492 FHA, 389 VA. So breaking down the numbers, total sales, there's 6,222. Cash made up 24% of all sales, 55% uh, conventional, 8% for FHA, and 6% for VA. So surprisingly they are still 24 percent of all sales happening over the last 30 days being cash sales if inventory has been in a record low for the past month or two we should expect that the numbers of last year should be a lot higher right because in 2021 things were busting they were hot they're going to people were buying houses you know the recovery was happening and let's look at the numbers all I gotta do here is simply switch this to 2022 to 2021 and everything should stay remainingly the same. So um, as a reminder, there were 6,221 reduced by one. Interesting. Um, wonder what happened there, single family? No, yeah, that's weird, I haven't changed anything. Anyways, let's shift it to 2021. It's only about uh, three, three or four hundred dollars more. So. Three or four hundred dollars, three hundred, four hundred more. So what we're gonna do now? Make this twenty twenty one. We are going to get these numbers here, and here. We're going to move them over here to the side. Twenty twenty two. Okay, you guys following me? I know we're freaking MacGyvering this, but uh, just follow along. Okay. 
6,657 total sales. So let's figure out how many of these were cash. 1,160 of them were cash. 3,742 were conventional. 771 were FHA. And 474 of them were VA. 17% of them were cash. 56% of them were conventional. 12% were FHA. And 7% of them were VA. I want you to just look at these numbers real quick. Really absorb these numbers. What do you see? Cash purchases have actually gone up in 2022. Even though there is less inventory, cash purchases have gone up 7%. Conventional purchases are still about the same ratio, you know, 56 to 55, although I would say there are less of them, but um, they're going up. FHA has greatly decreased. Of course, you know, because prices are going up. So, you know, prices of FHA, you know, makes sense why you can't qualify for more. Also, it's hard to get an FHA offer accepted. And uh, VA is about the same. Okay. But really, really focus on the cash situation here. Why are cash purchases going up? While everybody in the world, all these market crash chicken littles, markets crashing. No inventory. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Cash purchasers are still going at it and they're actually buying now more properties than they were buying literally one year ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to get conspiracy theory here, but now more than ever, this country wants to turn you into a renter. While we're here freaking crying about interest rates going up and inventory uh, going up higher and higher. The cash purchases are out there buying rentals and turning communities into rental communities. And guess what? We're going to have to live somewhere. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, do not fall into the hype. Do not worry about interest rates. Do not worry about the inventory being low. Buy when you're ready. Because right now, despite what you're thinking, beside our concerns and our squabbling of all these uh, numbers and, and, and theories of what's going on, the cash purchasers are out there buying and, and, and getting property and buying valuable real estate because regardless of what happens with the market we're going to have to live somewhere and guess what rent soared in the u.s cities last year it may keep rising in 2022 it's still going up y'all you know i'm becoming one of those youtubers that look at freaking headlines and just talks about it 35 <laughs> percent in new york new jersey florida 29 39 percent they're trying to turn us into renters they're trying to scare you Okay, I don't know how many times I have to say this. It's serious, okay? You wanna see something scary? Check this out. So using the same MLS search, looking at rentals. In 2020, this picked a random area here in Gilbert, okay? Four bedroom, two bath home, single family, okay? Um, if I, it, it, tw two years ago, 2020, the same exact month, this last 30 days, okay? 1650 is the cheapest you would find a rental up to 2100. Okay, so the cheapest you'd be able to get is 1650. So what would this same exact criteria do now in 2022? Like actual closed rentals. These aren't just like active. These are actually closed ones. The cheapest is 2325. The most expensive is 2900. So we went from 1600 to 2300. I know you guys love your chart. You guys love the chart porn. I don't have no charts for you today. Okay, no charts for you to follow. This is just pure from the heart stuff going on here. That's $675 increase in rent in two years. That's nearly a 40% increase. Okay, no fancy charts for you to show you this. Rent is going up despite what everyone's thinking. Cash buyers are still purchasing despite what everyone is thinking, okay? So I just wanna kindly remind everybody, let's not focus on the stressors. Let's focus on getting our, our stuff together, getting prepared, Figuring out your budget, buying within reason, not buying what you qualify for, buying what you can afford. If you need an agent referral, links in the description. You guys know I'm the OG when it comes to agent referrals in YouTube. Get it right. Links in the description. We have a great team of people. Of course, uh, replan.com uh, coming out. I'll watch a bunch of good bunch of goodies coming up. So I don't know. I'm, I'm too fired up right now to freaking plug something. Okay, just get it. Let's go. Jeez.